Welcome back to Jimmy Kimmel Live. I'm Brad Paisley. Guillermo, let's give the beer skipball challenge another try. How about it? You want to? Sure, whatever you say, man. All right, let's see this. Oh, oh man, I think that got him in the face. <laughs> man, uh, medic. Oh, man. Can we get a medic for Guillermo? We'll we'll check back in on him in a in a second. Yeah, he might be bleeding. Uh, anyway, speaking of beer. In just a little bit, I will be performing my new single, No Eye in Beer. And tomorrow night, the incredibly talented John Legend will be here with his guest, DJ Khaled. My guest tonight is a very funny Emmy-nominated actor whom you know from his nine seasons as the most ruthlessly ambitious paper salesman slash beat farmer ever. Now he stars as a virologist out to stop the spread of a virus. Any words on my sequencer, huh? I mean, I, my reach is extremely limited without it. I don't know what to do here. I mean, I feel like I'm being systematically prevented. There from is doing no that. vast calculated plot against you, Michael. What is that supposed to mean? It means the dean doesn't think about you. At all. There is nothing in the budget for you. Why not? A lot of viruses out there. Yeah, exactly, and I discovered one of them. And your research was worthwhile when we thought your flu was a threat. That was seven years ago. Utopia premieres September 25th on Amazon Prime Video. Please welcome my friend, Rain Wilson. Hi, Rain. Hey, Brad, how's it going? Uh, so far, I haven't uh, done anything too bad, I think. How are you? I think you look fantastic. I think a uh, talk show host is, uh, is in the cards for you. Uh, well, at least one night. We'll, uh, we'll see if they give me any more than this. So I'm so excited <laughs> to get to do this because my sons I have never, they're 11 and 13, I've never seen them binge anything with the veracity that they went after The Office, and they just finished the whole <laughs> thing, and they are so excited that I'm, I'm talking to you tonight. I mean, it's, it's, really, uh, it's really fun for them, especially, but I've, I've loved you for a long time. Oh, that's great, man. Thanks, thanks so much. Yeah, the, um, the popularity of The Office has just been off the charts um, in the last couple of years, especially with young, young folk. And with this pandemic, it's just been, it's been crazy, crazy. Yeah, I think that's probably because it's a fantasy now. People don't get to go to an office, so they're watching this as some, <laughs> sort, of, some sort of way of like saying, oh, I remember what it used to be like. Right, people huddled in uh, conference rooms and giving each other high fives and whatnot. Yeah, uh, you know, it's funny at 11 and 13 to watch them get the humor of this because I think it was so ahead of its time. And I've, I've watched them just relate to, to this in so many ways, and they've asked me if I could get a Bears Beats Battlestar Galactica out of, out of you tonight for Huck and Jasper. Seriously? Yeah, they, they would love Seriously, that. Seriously, you, you, you want me to be a trained monkey on your, on your show now? <laughs> yeah, that, that was... Mr. TV that, host? That's, that's kind of what we were kind of thinking. I mean, Second of all... Dwight actually never said those words. That was Jim who said those words. Oh, that's Dwight. right. That's Huck right. Huck and Jasper. Okay, oh, okay idiots. Great. Okay, yeah. here we go. No, 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 no. It's fine. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Okay, Boom. thank you. You're that's welcome. all the time we have. Thank you, folks. So thank much. you, everybody. Good Appreciate night, everybody. It. No, it, we are so we're so excited to talk to you. I really want to talk about this this TV show that's coming out that is painfully appropriate for the times we're living in. So it's called Utopia. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's it's super cool. It's based on an English format, much like The Office was. And the whole premise is that there's this graphic novel comic book that contains kind of the secrets to the potential destruction of the earth. And these comic book nerds kind of find this and things start to unravel. So it's it's got a dark sense of humor and a lot of conspiracy theories running around in it. It's uh, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it sounds like it. I mean, uh, did you learn anything about how, how to save the world in this TV show <laughs> right now? I, I, I wish I had learned something from the TV show about how to save the world because it really kind of feels right now like the world needs a little bit of saving. But yeah. uh, unfortunately, uh, no. I also recently learned you have donkeys. We actually have two uh, donkeys do ourselves on our farm. Those are your donkeys? No, those are yours, actually, right well, there. Those are my donkeys. Those are your donkeys. Oh my we God. have two. Ours are named Oliver Ass and Ben Asfleck. And um, what's what's the story with yours? I like the ass being being shoehorned in there. That's a great idea. So, well, I've got you beat, Brad. What we've got here uh, on the left is Chili Beans. That's uh, our donkey. He's a rescue donkey. And on the right. 
we have a zonkey. So what the hell boom. is a zonkey? A zonkey is a donkey mom meets um, uh, on a, some kind of app or something like that. I'm not sure how it works. Uh, okay. A zebra, a zebra, a zebra sperm, and they make a and they make a zonkey. He's basically the. You you think it looks really adorable. That's Derek. My son named him Derek. He looks super adorable, but in actuality, uh, a zonkey is kind of the worst characteristics of uh, of a donkey and a zebra. It has all of like the the wild kind of biting tantrums of a wild zebra and then all of like the dopey stubbornness of a donkey so he has just the worst personality in the world i've yeah wow well i mean i'm still i'm still going back to the dating app that hooks these things up uh you're real <laughs> close uh, right now to having a zoo too because you've got a couple of pot billy pigs right we do oh, we do we've got we've got oh look at that that's snortington that's okay. back when snortington and my wife holiday um Holidays the is the human woman snorting is the pig. <laughs> just in case anyone was confused, right? Uh, that's when Snortington was was allowed into the house. Oh, I see. So why is he not in the house anymore? Like I have to ask. Well, we've got a we've got a real menagerie around the house, and we've got these rescue pit bulls, and um, basically uh, they got the scent of bacon, and they got hooked, and so uh, we had to put the pigs outside. They're in their own pig pen now. Holy cow! You're so close to Tiger King at this point. You realize that. <laughs> like one I should step. charge admission. I, I'm also excited about the thing that you've got on your YouTube channel, with uh, which is an idiot's guide to climate change, which is totally written for me, I, I believe. Yeah, well, you and me both were, uh, and a lot of us, I think, are idiots about climate change. But it was, uh, yeah, it was a great adventure. I got to go up to Greenland and, and wow. Iceland, and I really didn't know anything about the uh, the issues, and I got to learn from a bunch of scientists. So it's... Yeah. Um, it was a super fun adventure. Iceland, something. I wish else. I could have brought my zonkey. Yeah, absolutely. They would have. Iceland, they would have loved him in Iceland. But oh, it's yeah. uh, it's it's really a beautiful place up there. We finally went there last year for the first time, and uh, I got to go back. Did you ride those I the Icelandic ponies? No, but I saw a ton of them. They're unbelievable. Yeah, they're so much fun to ride because they they don't go up and down. They just go like this. You you ride it, and it's like it's like riding a little love seat. Great. That's a, yeah. well, you'll have one of those next, I'm sure. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. We'll add, we'll add to it, the zoo. It really is. Well, I, I am so thrilled to get to see you again. I haven't seen you since we played softball in Malibu, which we had no business doing, either one of us. Yes. And, Neither and of I, us. No. I hope you get through this time, uh, you know, sane. Thanks, man. It's so, uh, so great seeing you. Congrats on, uh, on doing the show here and fantastic talking to you. You too. I can't wait to watch Utopia. Thank you, buddy. All right, Brad. Utopia premieres September 25th on Amazon Prime Video and watch An Idiot's Guide to Climate Change on Rain's YouTube channel, Soul Pancake. Thanks, Rain, and we'll be right back with music from the one and only Brad Paisley. <laughs> 